Some headsmen have been arrested um, for kidnapping. Uh, these headsmen uh, were involved in kidnapping some two um, adolescents, some two teenagers. Um, uh, one was aged 16 and the other was 12 years old. Now, when the news about um, um, the children gone missing came to, you know, the attention of the police um, some search was done and some investigation was made into the matter um, those suspects were arrested from different places um, um, after separate operations were um, um, embarked on now whilst um, um, some have been um, arrested there have been some who have been able to run away and the police are still trying to get them um before um these um headsmen were arrested uh, they sent a message about um, releasing the child the children who were kidnapped only if the the, the people were able to pay an amount of 200,000 ghana cities uh, in other words um old um two billion um it was surprising that these people were willing to go to that extent for this amount of money now before the the catch was made on them the 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 child the one of them the boys escaped the older one who is 16 years old escaped and um, was able to quickly go to his family and then made them aware about this um, uh, people who were you know responsible for the kidnapping now whilst three of the suspects were identified um, they were quickly arrested around the chinderi area which is in the Krachi in Chumuru district um, then there were some others who were, you know, who were holding um, the last victim captive, but they also were later um, apprehended and they were also arrested. But all those who were involved in the kidnapping, um, while well, some have been arrested, there are some who, you know, uh, went away. Now, the acting director um, general of the public affairs directorate that's um, in relation to the Ghana police service um, this assistant commissioner of the police um, mr. Kwesi Ofori uh, made um, the media aware that they were able to arrest these suspects after going on different special operations um, when he was uh, explaining how they went about it he brought to light how um, they took three different patrol cars uh, with um, with a team in each car, uh, and then they quickly um, went um, to the places where they suspected these people to be. Um, some detectives were able to help them, and they were very instrumental in um, getting the right location um, to get these um, kidnappers. Um, now they are alerting many people to you know be very careful about how they go about their um their dealings because a lot of people are have been planning evil and then um they don't show it on their face so before you know uh, somebody has um, kidnapped your child and you don't even know what happened um he, he expressed how he received a, a distress call about um some kidnapping and he just didn't know why they were very rampant um, in that area um, according to one of the fathers of um, these two children who were kidnapped um, they sent their boys on you know on an errand but they realized that they did not return they were thinking maybe they had gone to play at a friend's place and would come back uh, the next day and were even 
preparing to discipline them with some um, long canes for not coming back and you know going somewhere else but after the second day when they did not return again then um, they got worried um, so whilst they were all com- perplexed and then confused about what to do one of the boys about um, the day or so after um, ran into the their compound quickly looking very feeble and very hung- hungry and he explained to them how um, they were kidnapped by this old man who um, this grown man who um, snatched them and then um, locked them in some um, small room uh, which was um, almost guarded all the time um, he was great he was glad to have broken free because um, he was only able to escape when he saw a little window of opportunity when he realized that they were not around um, he quickly broke through and ran for his life though he was scared he could have been killed by the time the people could have gotten um, to him he had reached um, a place of safety and um, he was able to get home I uh, would also advise parents to teach their children some of these techniques to use when they fall in trouble you should teach your child whether it is necessary and required to shout in certain situations and when danger is perceived how to go about it this is because most times we don't give our children this training and it just happens um, spontaneously and they are left to use their own judgments and their own little minds to figure out the next step to take now if you are a parent who has um, trained your child well about how to handle a, a certain matter when it comes his way he would be able to um, stay in control think properly and then uh, look for any escape route uh, when it comes to him so those parents who are living in locations which are not too safe or uh, are in places where they have um, little power of, over changing how things happen in that area instead of going about trying to fight these people who are criminals um, train your children about the way to go about who to speak to the type of friends to entertain um, the times to go out and come in all these things are necessary these days people just give birth to children and leave them to roam about and play anyhow they want while that is good freedom is good for the child uh, you can also teach the child how to you know um, go about certain things if you are you are not willing to use force on the child then at least train the child that I won't lock you up in the room and prevent you from going, but I want you to go out, feel free, and then at this time, come back. You get it? Train a child in such a way that he would understand his freedom, not only for himself, but also for the general well-being of the whole family. Um, as and now, investigations are still going on. Um, even there were some um, cases at um, Kasim, Kaduna and also uh, Koron at Chideri uh, all these kidnapping cases happening there um, so for those of you who are in those areas just be very careful some people have uh, made up their minds to torment others just so they can make some money uh, we are glad that the police team was able to do it they were assisted by some detectives from the counter-terrorism unit I don't know if you've heard of it the counter-terrorism unit here yeah. Um, and they also had support from some informants um, in the localities and then also they had to also partner with a certain hunters club and this is a a group of uh, men who are good in the bush they go about you know getting game with weapons you know to get um, deers and all these types of wild animals in the bush so um, the police had to get help um, from them to partner with them to be searching those bushy areas while they themselves um, checked the um, habitable areas. So all of this um, came together before they were able to rescue um, the, the last child who was the 12 year old who was also kidnapped. Um, they found him in a certain bush at um, uh, the name of the place is Techiakura. Techiakura. Um, 
um, that was where he was held captive. So when they went to the Techakura area, they were able to get him. And then they arrested those um, uh, who were around him at that time. Those who were holding this victim. Um, during the rescue operation, they tried to smart for it, but um, they were outnumbered and then um, they were placed in a patrol team after they were being handcuffed and then taken straight to, you know, uh, the police station. But there were some other three suspects who uh, were, they were so fast, the police were not even um, uh, um, sh um, sure how they were able to make it because they were chasing all, all of them but these three they just ran so fast as if there was some um, fire in their legs and they were able to um, escape the hold of the policemen so um these three um other suspects are on the loose in those area in those areas so for those of you who are around the areas that have been mentioned be careful because they could also um, um grab the next um, child who they meet um when 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 the police were doing their investigations they found in those places a sharp catalyst it was very sharp you know those type of sharp catalyst are so sharp you can even mistakenly catch yourself just by holding it yeah they, they found that in in their possession and also they found four different mobile phones uh, with and then these phones had the same cards um that were used to you know demand the ransom monies from um, the from the victims of you know the parents of the victims so um, um, the police were able to conclude that yeah these were the guys um, there has been some further investigations and has shown that what they did was that they tied the hands of the boy and then they blindfolded him in the bush you see what they do is that they want to keep the child from seeing what is happening around him and also from uh, knowing the people who are responsible for the act so after they they cut caught him they, they they tied his hand and then they covered his face now for parents we want you to um be able to train your children to listen to voices to identify them when they are in um, such situations this is because um, that's the only way they'll be able to assist the police to catch those who are responsible for such acts. So that if your child is kidnapped and he's blindfolded, he will not know who is responsible because he cannot see whether it's a man or it's a woman who has grabbed him. He will not be able to tell. But what he will be able to know is when he hears the voice of the people who are around him, the way they speak, the, the conversations they have, even the languages they speak, all this will be able to help the police to, you know, uh, catch those suspects and then also um further lead to a safer environment for your children now after they they, they were able to get back the 12 year old boy um, they handed him also to his father his father by then had already reported reported to the police station that um, his child was nowhere to be found he was so happy to see his boy safe and sound um, there were little tears shed because he was afraid he wasn't going to see him again um the 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 suspects who have so far been arrested uh, they are supposed to appear before court um we think it's going to be presided over by mr benjamin atubra uh, but we are not too sure yet so uh, in the meantime they are you know remanded in police custody and um hopefully they'll, they'll face charges um and they'll answer to the uh, to the court you know um there's the hope to get them to reveal the uh, whereabouts and the locations of the accomplices those others who run but um, some of them are trying to prove stubborn so uh, you know how these kidnappers sometimes they want to be hard um but um the acp mr furry said that they are still hunting for that um for those people you know those three men who had um, um also been identified as headsmen and um, had taken on the run um, so hopefully um, they'll be um, caught soon and then um, all this kidnapping um, um, stuff would um, reduce in the area okay um let us see what your comments are like for um, this video what do you think about um, these headsmen who are arresting who are kidnapping people people's children and um 
demand them ransom for it. Um, do they even um, have an idea if those parents have that amount of money? Um, so leave your comment in the section below and then um, we can take it from there. Thank you for listening and have a nice day.